Hello everyone, welcome to class series and in this video, we're gonna be discussing our question answers of our chapter, A Day in the Ashram. So let's mount our first main that is C1 in that our first question is, who named the school Shantini Ketan? The answer of this question is, Maharshi Rabindranath Tagore named the school Shantini Ketan. Our second question is, when does the day in Shantini Ketan begin? The answer of this question is, the day begins before dawn when the birds chips in Almoki grooves. Our third question is, what is termed by Gurudeva as the darling of our hearts? The answer of this question is, Shantini Ketan is termed as the darling of our hearts by Gurudeva. Our fourth question is, which phrase used in the paragraph 1 means the both the old and the young people? The answer of this question is, the phrase old and the young alike means both the old and the young people in paragraph number 1. Our fifth question is, the boys in Shantini Ketan get up early in the morning, who else are the early risers? The answer of this question is, the birds in Amloki groves are the early risers with the boys in the Shantini Ketan. Let's move on to our next minute that is C2, in that our first question is, what kind of work do the boys practice in the afternoon? The answer of this question is, the boys in Shantini Ketan practice carpentry, spinning, weaving, drafting, painting, music, etc. in the afternoon. They learn these types of handwork. Our second question is, what are Shantini Ketan boys famous for? The answer of this question is, the Shantini Ketan boys are famous for sports and games everywhere. Our third question is, how do the boys spend their evenings before they go to the bed? The answer of this question is, the boys spend their evening before they go to the bed by telling fairy tales. Recitation of short dramas, singing of Guru Deva's songs and gatherings of different schools. Our fourth question is, read the second paragraph carefully. What is describes is A. The greatestness of the teacher B. The song of the choristers C. The lesson thought in the ashram D. The silent meditation of the inmates The answer of this question is the song of the choristers that is option number B. Let's move on to our next minute that is C3. In that our first question is, what is the effect of this song of the choristers on the listeners? The answer of this question is, when the choristers are singing their morning hymn and they go around the ashram, one can hear the voices, the beauty of the sound in the silent morning air and the sense of joy and reverence which it brings gives peace to the soul. Our second question is, how are classes held in the afternoon in Shantini Ketan? The answer of this question is, at 2 o'clock the afternoon classes begins, handy work is practice. The work is chiefly with hands and the mind. The boys practice handicrafts such as carpentry, mechanics, spinning, weaving, drafting, painting and playing musical instruments. This helps the boys to discover their tastes and talents. Our third question is, how do the boys spend their evenings in Shantini Ketan? The answer of this question is, in the evening, the boys return after playing in the field. They meditate for a short time. They take part in cultural activities such as singing songs, reciting and enchanting dramas, telling fairy tales and attending school gatherings. Our fourth question is, how are the classes at Shantini Ketan different from the classes in other schools? The answer of this question is, the classes at Shantini Ketan is completely different from the classes of other schools. In Shantini Ketan, the teacher is student or child-centered. The students sit with the teacher in the open air under the trees. There is no class Classrooms. The group of 8 to 10 students has one teacher. Very few books are used. Most part of the learning is done through conversation. The students could ask questions and clear their doubts. On the contrary, in other schools, the teacher is teacher-oriented centered. One teacher in the class should teach 50 to 60 students many books and subjects. Here, subjects are compulsory whether the students like or dislike. The answer should be by heart. Handy works are very less and they were not given much importance. The students do not have freedom. Our fifth question is, how does Shantini Ketan prepare boys for life? The answer of this question is, the classes in Shantini Ketan not only teach us subjects but also handy works. Here, the importance is given to all the round development of the students. The teacher-student relationship is cordial and the teachers find out that the student talent and encourage them to learn the subject. 
handy work is also helpful to build the future and succeed in that particular field if the student learn the talented subjects they would definitely gain skills it is helpful in their future life thus shantiniketan helps and prepare the students for life